Good afternoon. This is Friday. This is uh, Crackers Crazy Living. Thank you so much for joining me and my page today. Uh, today I'm making a lemon blueberry trifle uh, for my Easter dinner. Uh, this is compliments of Tatiana's uh, everyday uh, food. Um, she has some uh, shortcuts you can take with this recipe because she actually makes, bakes, and uses her own lemon pound cake for this recipe. But I'm not going to take the time to, to do that. She says that you can use store-bought pound cake or you may use angel food cake. I prefer angel food cake. It makes a much lighter dessert. And uh, my family just loves my trifles. So um, we're going to get started with this one. Um, I'm going to tip my phone down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, so we start. I'm going to put my whip attachment in my bowl. Okay. We are going to start with two packages, eight ounce packages of cream cheese, softened. So this has been sitting on my counter since 7.30 this morning. Um, if you don't have time to soften your cream cheese uh, naturally. You can open it, stick it on a microwave-safe microwave plate, and then you can microwave it at 30% intervals, uh, intervals, just increments or intervals, just so um, you don't want to melt it completely. You just want it to be softened. So when you mix it, it doesn't have any lumps and clumps in there because you definitely don't want to make any kind of a cheesecake filling with lumpy um, cream cheese. I've had that happen before and it's not fun and it just doesn't look appealing because you have all these little lumps in it. Tastes fine, but it just for appearance sake. So two eight ounce packages of cream cheese, 16 ounces of cream cheese. All right, I'm gonna throw these packages away. I'm gonna rinse my fingers off. Okay, I'm gonna flip the page so I can see how to make the filling. All right, for the filling, place your softened cream cheese into a large mixing bowl. Add vanilla extract, lemon cello, and lemon zest. I do not have lemon cello, um, but I made a lemon simple syrup. I used one cup of sugar, one cup of water, um, all the peel from one lemon and then the juice of the lemon I brought it to a boil simmered it for a little bit and then let it cool it's on the stove cooling um so i need a vanilla extract which is one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract Which I might use two tablespoons or two teaspoons because I like um, I like that. All right, so for the place to soften cream cheese and add the vanilla. Okay, so add the vanilla now. Let me find my. Um, my measuring spoons here. But then again, I have very potent vanilla because I make my own vanilla. So it calls for one and a half. I'll just do a half here. Oop, that's almost three quarters. That's fine. Little extra vanilla never hurt nobody. All right, now what? I follow this recipe. Uh, lemon cello and lemon zest. How much lemon cello? one tablespoon of lemon cello. So I'm gonna substitute with my lemon simple syrup. Okay. 
one tablespoon of my simple syrup. I'm going to taste it, see how it turned out. Mmm, that's actually really good. Might, if I don't use it all, I might have to save the rest in a little jar or something and put it in the fridge because that's pretty tasty. Um, and then what? How much lemon zest? The zest from two lemons. Wow, that's a lot of zest. All right, so the zest of two. Let me pick out the prettiest one because that's going to be for my garnish. They didn't have pretty lemons at the store today. I was kind of disappointed. I'm going to zest this lemon on a paper plate. Back this up. I'm going to just wash off my lemons. Just, uh, just give them a rinse. The stickers off. Just kind of wash them off. Make sure I don't have any residue or dirt or anything. You know, when lemons are in the store. They're just all over the place. So many people have touched them and stuff, so I just do that. All right, so I'm going to zest my lemons. When you zest a lemon, you just want the yellow part. You don't want to zest it down to the pith, which is the white part, because the pith is bitter and does not taste good. And you just want that lemon essence from the skin. I try to get every bit of peel off of it I can. I don't want to waste any. without getting that pith. It can be kind of tricky sometimes trying to get the, the zest without the pith. All right, that's okay. Let's do the other one. It only takes a minute or two to do. It doesn't take a long time. Unless you're doing a bunch of lemons. And if that's the case, then it could take you a bit. But it's a fairly fast process. And get yourself a microplane. It's easier with a microplane than it is trying to do it with a grater or anything else. It's just more easy. It's easier, a whole lot easier. And I'm a gadget girl. I like gadgets. I think it's fun using different tools in the kitchen to make your job easier. You know, make it easy. All right, that is the zest of two lemons. Scrub a little bit on the floor. So that I would say that's a good two tablespoons anyway. I would imagine. Okay. set my lemons aside in case I need it for something else. Okay. For the lemon cheesecake filling, place the softened cream cheese into a large mixing bowl. Add the vanilla, the lemon cello, and the lemon zest. Using a mixer, beat the cream, beat the cheese for a few minutes until it's smooth and clump free. <laughs>
Scrape down the sides of my bowl. And I'm going to mix it in. Now, it did not say to use a whip attachment. I just chose to use a whip attachment. Of course, you could use a paddle attachment just fine. Uh, next, add in a half a cup of lemon curd. Now that again, she said you can make your own lemon curd or you can buy store-bought lemon curd. My lemon curd came from Joshua's Citrus over in Arcadia. It's a citrus place. They make theirs. So when I was over there last, I can't even get it open. And it sealed it, but good. <sighs> Hold on. This is exactly what my six in one uh, can opener is good for because this right here, that is a little grabber to put around the base of your jar lids. Ever so slightly, just pull up on it to try to release some of that vacuum all the way around. And it's supposed to pop open. Oh. I do some more. Boy, they really did seal these jars. Good grief. It does work. This can opener, it does work. It's just that these jars are super sealed. Good Lord. I can't get it open. I would much rather put pressure on the lid like this as opposed, I have seen so many people take a knife and whack the side of the jar, the edge. You don't want to do that. I actually saw somebody do that one time because they couldn't get a lid off of, of a pickle jar or something and they broke the jar. The jar broke, glass was everywhere, and she had to throw the whole jar in the trash. So it's not, not a smart idea. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this is on there so tight. I can't budge it. I don't even want to start banging it on the side of the lid. I don't want to bust my jar. I can't believe that my can opener won't open it because it always opens every jar. Oh, my goodness, that was a major struggle. <laughs> that was a workout. Man, alive. Huh. All right, after all that, I need a half cup. <laughs> uh, if you don't get much out of my page but entertainment, then hey. I've, I've uh, accomplished something. All right, I am going to measure a half a cup because this is a 10-ounce jar, and we know that a half a cup is 8 ounces. But it's hard for me to eyeball that, so I am just going to measure it in a measuring cup. I don't want to overdo it because I, I want this to turn out right. And I, Sometimes if I change up recipes I've never made, it is not a good decision. Let's taste it. That is very good. Lemon curd. Very good. All right, so we're going to add the lemon curd. They call it curd. It's it's lemon pie filling. You could probably use canned lemon pie filling, but I, this, this one I got from the Grove, I, I paid a pretty good amount for a small jar. And I bought two jars, so I really want, don't want to waste it on anything else but my family. And I'm not wasting it for my family. I'm saving something that cost me because the quality is better, but I really wanted it for my family. I didn't want to just use it willy-nilly. I wanted to save it for a special occasion. Um, so a half a cup of lemon pound, uh, lemon, sorry, curd and powdered sugar. It calls for one and a half cups of powdered sugar. So we got the lemon curd in there. I'm going to measure out, what is it? 
one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Try to get the flour out of there. I was making something with flour earlier. All right, so I'm going to measure out one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Here's one. All right, there's roughly one and a half cups of powdered sugar. You put my sugar away. I don't need it, and I don't need it in my way. Okay, you mix the two of these together carefully and then it calls for two cups of heavily heavy cream I have heavy whipping cream here I went and bought a whole bunch more uh, cartons because now I'm, I'm gonna make more um, butter I gotta make more butter so you mix these two together Got my measuring cup that I used before. Let's turn this off. Scrape my. I always scrape my bowl. You don't want anything stuck to the sides. You want everything to be good and mixed. And then it says, two cups of heavy cream, well chilled. I think I had all kinds of cream in here. I have to make more whipped cream anyway, because I'm going to be making a key lime pie as well. I'm going to put that for my topping. All right, and it says to mix this. Add the whipped cream and whisk in the cream. Oh, shoot, I didn't do it right. I poured it all in. Whisk in the cream, starting on low speed first, and then genuinely increase, temp increase speed to high. Whisk the filling for about five. So whisk, so yeah, you need to, oh, I did it right. So yeah, whisk it in with your whisk as it starts to mix and, you know, turn up the speed. I keep saying temperature. Turn up the speed and until you get stiff peaks. So I did it right. I just poured all the cream in it. I, I thought it was saying whisk it in you know, gradually, but it wasn't. It just said whisk it in on low speed and then gradually increase the speed. So essentially what you're doing is you're mixing your lemon cream cheese curd with the whipped topping until the whipped topping gets thick.
Jeff Peaks just about. Okay, be careful not to whip that whipped cream too much. It will turn into lemon butter, which really what doesn't sound bad either. Lemon cream cheese butter. Mm. Might not do that with the cream cheese in there. I think the next time I try to make this, I will use a pound cake and the limoncello. I just didn't want to do the limoncello right now because I am making it for my family and my grandson's going to be eating it. And I just don't know how limoncello would be received since it's a liqueur, you know? So I don't want to do something my family isn't going to like. I got all that zest stuck to my whip. Just trying to scrape off my whip because all that lemon zest is stuck there. Oops. Stuck right to that whip. Alright. Tastes good. Of course, you gotta lick your fingers every time. Alright, I'm gonna scrape that lemon zest off the side of that bowl there and just give it a stir. Looks delicious. It's fluffy. It's fluffy like frosting. It's like lemon whipped cream pudding. Oh my gosh, is that good? This is gonna be delightful. All right, now, next step. I'm gonna get my trifle bowl out. Get some of this stuff out of my way. I'm gonna get my trifle bowl out and then we're gonna start to build this thing here. I'm wondering if I should take That was easy to get off. Some of my jelly, or my preserves, and put it into a piping bag. And squeeze it in there as opposed to trying to spread it around. Because sometimes spreading stuff does not work well. Especially for me. So hold on, I'm going to go get a pastry bag. Okay, I'm back. i got my trifle bowl here. Um... I got my preserves in a pastry bag. I've got my blueberries all washed and ready to go. This time I cut my angel food cake into thirds. As last time I didn't have it quite the way I wanted it and I ended up with extra that I had to put on top and I really don't want to do that this time. I want to have it the way it should be. So I'm going to put my angel food cake crumble it up. I'm going to put it on the bottom. You can leave it in big hunks if you want, but I like to break it up a little bit. That's just the way I like to do it. Now, she showed her pound cake was in cubes, but you know it would be fun if you had pound cake and you just put sliced pound cake in your bowl. That would be good too. I'm going to just pat it down in there. So I am going to read the directions on how she layers it. Because I want to, to get the effect that she, I want it to look like, almost like hers. Not exactly, but I want it to be close. So I'm just kind of patting it down in there so it sits down in there. Let's see how she does this. Start filling your trifle bowl with a few cups of the cake and then gently press them into place using the pastry brush. Lightly brush a bit of limoncello. I'm going to use my lemon simple syrup. Add several spoonfuls of blueberry preserves. I'm going to squirt it on with my pastry bag. Followed by a generous amount of the lemon curd, approximately a half a cup of the, of the what? Just 
generous amount of lemon curd. It must be the lemon curd filling she's talking about. And then a generous amount of blueberries on top of that. Add about, oh no, there is lemon, more lemon curd. Half a cup of, well, the lemon curd went in the filling. See, now that, that confuses me because how much lemon curd does she say we use? Well, she doesn't really say. Half a cup of lemon curd that went in the filling, and then there's more that goes on top. So let me get that ready. I'll be right back. Okay, I sure am glad I had an extra jar of that lemon curd. I bought two jars when I bought it. Thank goodness I did, because there is more lemon curd in the recipe than I thought there was. All right, so now we got our um, we got our our, our angel food cake here inside the bowl so we're going to take a pastry brush and we're going to brush on our simple syrup substitute for the lemon cello and i'm just going to dabble the simple syrup over the cake just dab it on there I was I'm not sure I was contemplating whether I was even going to do this stuff because angel food cake is like cotton it just absorbs everything but maybe this will be good all right so I got that set that aside uh, next add several spoonfuls of blueberry preserves followed by lemon curd approximately a half a cup and then generous amount of blueberries then you add your cheesecake filling to the top to it so we got that so blueberry preserves are next and i put it into a pastry bag so it's easy for me to just kind of squirt it out like this instead of trying to spread it maybe i'll still try to spread it a little bit. Oh, I got it on the outside of my bowl. I'm gonna make your bowl all dirty. Spread that around a little bit. Yeah, it does spread out. Okay. Spread, 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 spread. All right. Followed by lemon curd. Put some of that on. Yep. You spread that in. Top. Spread it around. You need some more on the edge. Like on the cake right here. Yep. Spread that over there. Oops. Getting it on the inside of my bowl. I don't want that. All right. Now blueberries which I've already washed my blueberries should have bought two things of blueberries they were expensive they were $5.99 for this box when Dixie did have other ones on sale that's a big one I'm not eating it um, the little packages were three for ten they didn't look as good as this. Now, cheesecake filling. kind of divide this into thirds too because I'm making two more layers and then it, I need to pipe some on top. Okay. 
Now cake. Now cake. Okay, so pat that down. Okay, now more blueberry. Oh, it's oozing out of my bag. I don't know what a good decision that was. I thought it would make less than us. Well, it's all over my table, so I don't know. I, I, I can't seem to do anything without making a huge mess. Whoops. Can't seem to do anything without making a big, big mess. I'm going to use some more out of my jar. All right, let me smooth this around. does three like three I thought she did three layers of this recipe I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use all my cake this is that's a lot of filling she might only I thought she only did two two layers or three layers it just says repeat the process until it's full so it's hard to tell if it's how many layers it actually is it's very really deceiving. It's like this every time I make a trifle. Every time. Okay, more filling. Yep, I see this is going to be it. What's it supposed to look like? That's why I like pictures. Oh, it's got, oh, it's only got two layers of the filling, and it's got some filling piped on top with uh, fruit, blueberries on it. Now what? Should I use the rest of the, the this? Thinking I'm going to use this on top. Pack it in there. Pieces. This is going to be one full bowl, I'll tell you. 
This is going to be full. I hope I can even get it over there without it making a mess. Oh, and I did that other layer of, of that. I forgot to put more syrup on it. I was supposed to put syrup on every part of the cake. And I, I missed a layer. Oh, well. I'm not the most perfect cook. I don't remember everything. I do cakes very well, though, if you've been following my cakes. I'm going to put more. Maybe more lemon curd on the top, and then I'll decorate it with. I think I've got enough jam in there. Preserves. Hope it gets all down in there. It usually does. All right. I'm gonna take my spoon. I am gonna just put some more of this on there. I just maybe I just little dollops. Because now it's getting harder to spread. Little bits here. Okay. Oops. Okay. That's going to be it for the lemon curd. And I'm going to decorate the top with my loose blueberries. have any more of those little stretchy bags to put on top and my to cover it with. I need more of those. I ran out. So what I'm going to do tomorrow, because this is for our, our Easter lunch tomorrow. We're doing it on Saturday instead of Easter Sunday because it's just too crazy on Easter Sunday. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to cover it. And then, but right before I go to serve it, I'll have some more of this cheesecake stuff. I didn't even use it all. I mean, my gosh. I didn't even use it all. I must have needed a bigger bowl or... Well, that would be enough. What I'll do is I'll take this in a container and I'll pipe it. Pipe it on top and then I'll decorate it with my lemon pieces. And it'll look beautiful. And I'll take a picture of it. I will definitely take a picture of it. And I will post it on the community tab to my um, YouTube page. I will take a picture and I will post a picture on the community tab of my YouTube. And then everybody can see how nice it turned out with it all decorated up and everything. So that's it for Crackers Crazy Living Lemon Blueberry Trifle. Um, I think it looks pretty good. It's going to look even better. Maybe I'll, I don't know. I don't know if I should put more blueberry jam on it or just leave it with the lemon curd and then just decorate it with that. I might just do that. Because now I put the blueberry. Ooh, that's good. Because now I already put the blueberries on it. And I don't want to, you know, make a mess. Well, let me try it. I keep changing my mind. Let's just take the spoon. Maybe 
just the back of my spoon, I'll just kind of do this. Just kind of spread it around like this. Just kind of make it a little decorative. I don't know why. I think the blueberry speckles of the jam looks pretty with the, the lemon curd and the fluffy clouds of cake. There, just a dollop around. See, that looks all right. All right, so sweet. Now I think it'll look better once I get the top on there and my decorated my pieces of lemon. I think it'll look very festive. It's going to be delicious. Looks great. Now I just gotta try to find a cover to put on it. All right, that's it for the lemon blueberry trifle. I might have to later on um, simplify this a little bit. I mean, it's simple, but has a lot of moving parts to it. So it's not, wasn't as, it is easy, but a little bit more to do than my past ones where I just layer everything up and go you know a little bit more fussing to this one but it it looks like it's going to be great so i'm going to clean up my bowl a little bit and i'm going to find something to cover it up with and um thank you for joining me for crackers crazy living if you like my page and you have not subscribed to my page please hit the subscribe button below give me a thumbs up share me with your friends i would really appreciate that and then if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I will do my best to answer your questions. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today for Crackers Crazy Living. I'll see you next time in another project uh, in the near future. Have a great day. God bless you.